Hello guys, we are back with our next lecture. In this lecture, let us go through the impacts of disaster, guys. So basically, in our last unit also, we discussed about some impacts, right? Yes. So the same impacts you can write, guys. So basically, this topic is nothing but impacts of disaster. So it is not specifying a particular disaster. So you can write any kind of impacts. So like in the social. So in social means it is nothing but people, right? So people may get some health issues. Like if it is a flood, there could be some spread of multiple diseases which are through water. Like that there are multiple issues, right? So you can write them. Similarly, economic. So economic is nothing but economical status of the per people and all those things, right? So when there is a huge flood or drought, okay? So the crop of the farmers and everything will be lost, right? And if there is an earthquake, the roads and everything will be getting damaged. So that is also increasing the, sorry, decreasing the economical status of the government or everything, right? Yes. Similarly, political, you can write environment is nothing but your surroundings, you can write. Similarly, health issues, you can write the health issues which they face when there is a small disaster. Okay. Similarly, psychological. So, the psychological effect which may lead to a long term disaster for them. Right. Yes. So, in that way, you can write, guys. So, few more impacts which I'll be, which I have written here are nothing but impact on caste, guys. Okay. So, first, we'll be going through the theory and then I'll be explaining you guys. So scheduled caste people are inhabitedly in the low areas. So basically they will be saying few castes are backward castes and all those things, right? So basically everyone is equal, but they will be calling in that way, right? So backward caste will be staying in that area like that. So basically in a low lying area, so we are taking the example of flood guys. So if there is a flood the, in the low lying areas, only the lower caste or the backward caste will be staying guys. Like they are not given much priority or they don't have that much ability to buy some high level or all those things so that is the reason why they are the they are having their place at the lower lower areas so in that situation there is a high chance that that areas will be flooded when there is a flood right so house condition of these people are always at risk so during floods they have no space to take shelter neither the higher caste people allow them to give or to take temporary shelters so sheer poverty or disaster make them worse okay so they don't have money as well as the disaster will be making them making the situation too worse for them okay okay so lack of information about the disaster so basically these things like if there is information about the disaster prior to its happening or occurrence there is a high chance that they can evacuate that places and they can move somewhere else which is a high lying area at least to save their items or to save their things or to save their lives right yes similarly impact on gender okay so basically the kids or the girls or the women are more adorable or more in the impact of any kind of disaster right so women children widows or anyone are more vulnerable and threat to various type of health hazards so elderly persons and women are also very negligible guys okay so we need to take care of them okay so el elderly people are both women and men are neglected in all respects and aspects so they are neglected right so when okay so that is the reason why you should always take care of them also okay okay so similarly impact on age so basically which age groups are strong and which age groups are a bit weak we know that right so the children and the old people so these two groups should be really taken really care guys so they may have multiple issues so that is the reason why the young age will not be having any issues right like the middle adult age you can say okay so the younger and the older you should always take care of them okay so that is nothing but impact based on age so impact based on location okay so assume that we are discussing again about the floods only so floods are more prone or tsunami or more prone in the riverside areas right so or seashores or anywhere right so in that situation so the, based on location so people living in the low hand areas riverside so reverse of the reverse embankment so that's nothing but reverse banks guys okay so sea coast lines are most prone to affected by the natural calamities okay similarly places prone to earthquake like few places could be kashmir north and middle bihar guys you can take some examples from the internet guys so i when i searched i found these two as the common thing so i wrote them okay okay so impact on disabilities so disabilities are nothing but you can say disability people are nothing but who are having some kind of drawbacks in them guys so like visually challenged like they cannot see or they cannot hear or they have some physical disability or mental challenges okay so these people will all will have some more problems guys 
so if if there is any kind of danger signal or sign or alarm is given few of the disabled people can, may, might not hear it right might not see it so in that situation that could lead it to a huge issue right so unable to hear danger signals alarms or anything difficult in evacuating and protection okay similarly difficult in getting access to relief and companion money okay and difficult to locate the space where the where the camps are going on okay okay similarly global okay so i hope everyone got a clear idea on impacts right so we discussed about multiple impacts here guys okay okay so i hope everyone got a clear idea so in the next lecture we will be going on through urban disaster guys okay okay so let us meet in the next lecture thank you thanks for watching